Hi guys, Marika here with another card tutorial and today I'm also going to join in with the rainbow uh, colored challenge tag. But first I wanted to show you all of the supplies uh, from the Simon Says Stamp card kit June 2016 because I'm going to use some of them in the two cards that I'm making today. I'm going to do a little bit comparison video. But first to the supplies, the card kit starts out with their lollipop and then uh, the two uh, very nice gel pens. They are by Kaiser and they are both kind of, a, or the ones I got was kind of peachy colors. It's one that is a more pastel and one that is a glitter pen. Then you have the beautiful sprinkles by Dual Bugs. I really love these sprinkles. I like to use them on my cards. Then you have these two pre-printed card fronts which is what I'm going to use for the card for today. Then you have a little die which says dreams and the stamp set today have a bold beautiful sentiment and a whole bunch of flowers that you can use to create so many different cards. You also get a uh, some pattern papers from Bow Bunny and I really really like these. These are so bold and bright colors. They are juicy. They are summer colors and they're just up my alley. I really really love them. And then you have the inspirational sheet with a couple of different cards from a couple of different card designers. I really like them too. And uh, then you have the cardstock and today you have one black, one white and then you have a orange, a yellow and a blue. And they are all by Simon's Stamp also. And those were all of the supplies. So uh, we're going to start talking about the first card. So this is the card that I'm coloring, the first card I'm coloring. And I'm for the first, the kind of color scheme is picked from the uh, pattern paper and the sprinkles. But I'm only using a little bit of cardstock and the card fronts. So the first one I'm doing with Copics and I had no clue if they how they would go on to this paper. So this was very much just playing and trying. And I was very happily surprised. Many of these kind of pre-printed things are either on watercolor cardstock or on something a little bit thinner. And it's not always that Copic work with them. But these pre-printed card fronts work awesome with uh, Copics. Um, they glide on so you get a very good blend because that was one of the things I tested out really was do, can you blend your pencils or your markers on it and you can. You can get very good results. It's You get even results with it. So uh, I, if you're a Copic colorist these uh, card fronts, if you want to play with them, they, they are awesome. I think it is, this is a, a guess from me, is that it is the 120 pound weight cardstock that Simon Stan Stamp already has, which is a little bit of a thicker cardstock. Uh, it has the same feel because I think that was the white cardstock that you get in the kit, which also will be the card basis for my two cards. So um, I'm trying out a whole bunch of different rainbow colors so that it would fit in the rainbow theme. And the uh, all the all the colors will be listed in the description and you will have links to all of the supplies, which is basically the card kit. But I will try to find these card fronts and such also so you can if you don't want the whole kit just a couple of supplies you will have all the links in the description down below where you have a whole bunch of other links and this is a challenge tag so i didn't get tagged you can join even even if you didn't get tagged so i didn't get tagged but i do want to tag two awesome creators the first one is 
Sandy Alnock. I'm tagging Sandy Alnock. I don't think she ever will see this, but I'm tagging her anyway. And we'll have a link to her channel in the description down below. And also, I am going to tag Tara from Curly Cues. So I have a link to her channel in the description too, because she's an awesome crafter and I really like to watch her videos. So I have, if you haven't seen her videos, really go and see them. And hopefully Tara and uh, Sandy will join me in the rainbow challenge. So yeah, that's the rainbow challenge. So this card uh, is the car first card of two. The second card is going to be Sig Clean Color Brush Real Brush Markers because I had the opportunity to get some. But first, we are going to finish this card. I use my scissors and fussy cut, cut it out. It's very easy to follow these lines, and I do it very carefully and slow. This is sped up by five times, I think, so I do it very slow. And then I take and do the card bases. And I just take this letter sized card stock and I uh, cut it in half lengthwise, which is four and a quarter. And then I score it at five and a half so that I get a top folding card. And then I'm just gonna add some uh, 3M Scotch foam tape on the back side. I'm gonna use three pieces of this because then I get. Um, coverage all over it and it will not wrinkle uh, if you put it in an envelope and send it through the mail. Um, and then I just centered that onto the card and the card is done so it's quite a bit simple card. And this was why I thought let's do two cards. So for the second card I'm using some Sig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. So this is a test from my side because I never colored with these markers. I got them today. So I've never colored with these markers before, uh, except for the little color chart that I did on a sheet of Bristol because I heard that that is good um, paper. And the Bristol do make them blend easily if you don't work with water. I didn't want to add water to this cardstock. It is thick enough, but it isn't a watercolor cardstock. So I didn't want to add water. So I'm just uh, blending them uh, pen to pen. And uh, I tried some things out and uh, kind of figured something out. We come to that in the end. First, I want to say a huge thank you to the people who went over to my Etsy and bought a whole bunch of my cards that I put up. There's still cards uh, left on my Etsy if you want to get some. I also want to say thank you to all of the people who has bought through the links that I have either here on YouTube or on my blog. I also want to say a huge thank you to all of you who are subscribed and watch my videos because thanks to you um, and thanks to my earnings I get on YouTube, which isn't much, it's just a little bit, uh, thanks to the little, little bit of money I get to the affiliate links and thanks to the money I got through Etsy, I was able to afford these markers. Um, and therefore I want to say thank you so, so, so much. Uh, just you watching my videos makes a big difference. It makes me really, really happy that there are so many people that want to watch my videos every day. And yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for you all being here. Um, I have the 36 pack markers, if you're wondering, that is what I bought. So I didn't even buy bigger parts, so it's a 36 one. Now to come to uh, blending about the SIG markers now that I've been all, all sappy. I realized that the tip to tip technique does not work with the markers. However, you can scribble, I scribbled on a my uh, acrylic block and pick up the color with the tip of the the lighter pen from the you scribble with the darker pen and then you pick it up with a lighter pen and you can actually blend out the colors that way so that is my tip uh, for you is if you don't get a good blend 
you um, just scribble some of the darker color on a, a block on anything acrylic and you can get a better blend. To finish this card off, I'm chopping off about an eighth of an inch uh, on all of the edges of this card. So I trimmed it down to four by five and a quarter. Uh, the print wasn't printed all out through the edges and uh, I did have that little tape holding the piece down. So I thought this would kind of frame it really nicely. And because of it having those big color pieces up and down, I didn't feel I needed to frame it with a layer. So I'm just adding some of that uh, foam tape on the back side of that card and then I'm just uh, mounting it on the other half of that letter sized paper that I scored in half so that I now have two cards. But to finish it off I decided I wanted to use some Wink of Stella. So uh, here's a little tip uh, when using Wink of Stella. When you do it on the SIG clean color markers you will pick up the colors because you can actually blend them a little bit with the um, wink of style. So I would go when you color, if you color over the sick clean markers, uh, go from light to dark and uh, make sure that you kind of color off the color on the side when you switch between your colors. But yeah, those were the cards for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs it up if you like it. Uh, please tell me which of the cards you like best and if you want to see more creations with SIG Clean Color Markers. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!